Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the early what I seek the scripture study and prayer line on this 12th day in August 2020. Nicole, Nicole Robinson, good to see you on, young lady. JB up in here. Man, you're faithful. Faithful to the most high, man. You got a pet bull lock on this thing, JB. Look like you ain't going to let it go either, huh? A, a coat, uh, a charve up in here. Battle. Battle on the battlefield. You got Yosef. Cuddy McBuddy. Uh, Yosef. Hallelujah. Uh, a coat Don Deems up in here. Hallelujah. Uh, we got Elder in the place. We got uh, Stone. Stone up in here. <clears throat> Look like we, 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 we coming in wall to wall, tree top tall. Y'all feel free to push the share button as you come in. Push the share button. Hallelujah. And the like button. So that we can uh, open up the, the portals. So the, the word can go forth. Uh, let's get ready to dive on in. Great prayer this morning, y'all. And now, and now we're diving in the Word. Uh, let's go to... Uh, um, okay, we're going to go to a couple of books, but let's start in Genesis. Let's start in Genesis, y'all. Let's go, let's go to Genesis uh, 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 27. Genesis 27, and I'm going to start at the 26th verse. Genesis 27, 26. We're just going to get to the, to, the, to the meat of the thing, right? Y'all can read the whole chapter later. You can find out what this whole scriptural misunderstanding is about in the first place. Big Sean Watt, Watson, good to see you all, sir. Jeremiah, who, hallelujah, good to see you all, bro, bro. Ak, um, Genesis 27, y'all can read the whole thing uh, 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 later, but uh, let, let's start at the uh, uh, 26th verse. Felicia Rockins, good to see you on, young lady. And what we'll do is I'm going to read it in the uh, NIV, if that's, if that's all right. <clears throat> let's do it. Look what it say. It said, then his father Isaac said to him, come here, my son, and kiss me. So he went to him and kissed him. And, and when Isaac caught the smell of his clothes, he blessed him and said, Oh, the smell of my son is like the smell of the field that Yahuwah has blessed. May uh, Yahuwah give you heaven's dew and earth's richness and the abundance of grain and new wine. May nations serve you and people bow down to you. Be Lord's uh, 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 or masters over your brothers, and may the sons of your mother bow down to you. May those uh, who curse you be cursed, and those who bless you be blessed. After Isaac finished blessing him, and and and, and Yaku, uh, 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 had uh, uh, or, or Jacob had had scarcely left his father's presence, his brother Esau came in from hunting. He too prepared some tasty food and brought it in to his father. Then he said to him, my father, please sit up and eat some of my game so that you may give me your blessing. And his father and his father Isaac asked him, who are you? He said, I'm your son, he answered, your firstborn Esau. Isaac trembled violently and said, who was it then? That hunted game and brought it to me. And I ate just before you came. And I blessed him. And indeed, he will be blessed. Hallelujah. Uh, now let's go to Proverbs, y'all. Let, 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 let's break this thing open. Let's go, let's go, let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs uh, 29, beginning at the uh, uh, 15th verse. Look what it says. It says, the rod and reproof gives wisdom, 
But a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. When the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase. But the righteous shall be their fall. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yea, he shall give the light unto thy soul. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. <clears throat> um, Steve, Steve uh, Kane, good to see you. But um, we we were dealing with with, with Isaac dealing, you know, with his sons. You know, Esau and Jacob, right? And he had Isaac had every intention on blessing his his eldest son. Uh, that was his intentions, but through the trickery of his of his wife, Trenda, good to see you all. But through some trickery of his wife set up Jacob to pretend to be Esau. And so Isaac ended up giving the blessing to Jacob as opposed to, to Esau. Now, had we kept reading, he gave a blessing to Esau as well, that he would live in the fat of the land and he would do it by sword. Right, because Esau was like a natural type of a guy. He was the outdoorsman, but he really didn't care too much about the things of the Most High. He wanted the power. He wanted the money and the power. So the Most High rejected him. It was in the divine intervention that Jacob was the one that ended up getting the blessing because he cared more about the things of the Most High. And Esau didn't which is a whole nother study. That's not what we're talking about today, right? What I really want to talk about is how the blessing was given to Jacob, but how was it given? It, it was given because his daddy spoke life into him. It was already ordained but the procedure is set in stone. And the procedure was that the father spoke life into his children. Because even, even when the father found out that he had blessed the son that he did not intend on blessing, he couldn't take the blessing back. Yeah, he, he spoke the blessing and the Most High backed it up. Both his sons end up uh, uh, receiving power and direction from him. But that's where they got it from. They got it from their father. They got it from their father. If you want to destroy a people, you destroy the fathers. Yeah, you destroy the father because death and life is in the power of the tongue. And the father has the, the uh, authority given to him from the most high to speak life or death into their children. Depending on the heart of the father. Yeah. Now you got subgroups that are speaking life and death, which is not as effective as the correction or direction from a father. But mothers have some say so too. Cousins and people, influences, evil communications corrupt good manner because they're speaking. And people can speak you into being a dope fiend or a dope dealer. So people can, can speak you into being a, 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 a murderer. 
So people can speak you into being sexually weird. Yeah, going to bed with them and others. Yeah, because 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 death and life is in the power of the tongue. And, 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 and whosoever love it shall eat the fruit thereof. If you love the gangster talk, then no wonder you, you, you walk with a limp. You, 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 you swag. <laughs> Proverbs 29, 15. Look what it says. It said, the rod and reproof, the rod and reproof gives wisdom, right? Like, like correction. Yeah, even even verb, verbal, correction, direction, correction. It gives, it gives, it gives wisdom. Right? It, it, it shapes character when there's structure. Yeah. See, there was a road map laid out for Jacob. And it was set by his father. And that was the goal of his life. From a natural standpoint, he had a goal. Yeah. Yeah. Because his father spoke it. And that's the direction that his life went in. Exactly what his father said. 100%. That's why uh, 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 in, in, in Hebrews, uh, 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 the 12th chapter, it says that if you be without the father's correction, then are you bastards and not sons. Because he's setting, he's setting goals for you. And if you deviate, he will correct you. He spoke the word over your life. And if you deviate, he will correct you. And if you be without the direction that he put on your life, then you're a bastard. You don't belong to him because you're, you, you're, not, you, you're, you're, not, you're not correctable. You, you, you're not submissive. And he, he did describe the state of mind that's not submissive to what he said. And that's the carnal mind. That's why we got to be born again. But the key is you're being born again so you can be submissive to the direction of your father. And when you belong to him, he, his word will lead you into eternal life. You will defeat everything that come against you in this life. No weapon formed against you go prosper. When you belong to him, you, 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 you've given up your carnal mind because that carnal mind is not going to obey the father. So you've given that up. You let that be baptized into the death of the Messiah so you can rise up to walk with a new life, with a new mind that will give you a new life. And that new mind is subject to the words of the Most High. It bows down to the word of the Most High. And if that carnal nature of ours try to pull us away from doing what he say, he'll correct us. Durwood, good to see you on, man. But he'll correct you when you belong to him. So look what he say. Proverbs 29 and 15. Look what it says. The rod and reproof gives wisdom. You want to see a wise person? They're being corrected and directed by the most high. But a child left to himself brings his mother to shame. Yeah. Now, though I'm still speaking in heaven based on our father, which is in heaven, which wants to save us, and he wants to be intimately involved in our lives. He want an intimate relationship with his children, period. It still didn't negate the importance of a father because the Most High did not bypass Isaac to get to Jacob. No, he did not. He went through Isaac. He, he reigned supreme even over Isaac. His goal was to bless Jacob because Jacob cared about the things of the Most High, but he used his father. Still to this day, us fathers got a responsibility to speak life into our children. And if we're under the influence of the Mac, if we're, if we're under the influence of Lil Wayne, if, if, we're, if we're under the influence of wickedness, then the only thing we can speak into our children is death. We'll, 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 kick, a, we'll kick that player talk. We'll kick that gangster talk. We'll, we'll kick that slick stuff. Yeah, that cutting, conniving, that conniving stuff. 
right? That stuff that, that leads a child to bring their mother to shame. 16 verse, look what it says. When the wicked are multiplied, when, when, when you got wicked fathers, when you got wicked folks raising wicked children, when, when the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase. In other words, lawlessness increase. Murder go up. Dope deals go up. Pimping go up. Ch child molestation. Trafficking go up. Especially when you're dealing with rulers. Rulers. When wicked folks rule, Oh, the place is wicked. Oh, the, 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 you end up being you end up being a wicked man's patient without signing up because the wicked man got armies and guns and manipulation, money and power. You you end up getting subscribed stuff that's not good for you. You end up seeing the word of the Most High come in the past to where you won't be able to buy or sell. Unless you receive the mark. Right now, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell unless you receive a mask. Which is which is a trial run for you not being able to buy or, buy or sell in, 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 unless you receive a, a, a mark. The mark of the beast. The vaccine. But when the wicked are mo when, when, when the wicked when, when, when the wicked are multiplied, then transgressions increase. Yeah. When, 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 when the wicked are multiplied, when, 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 when wickedness comes from the top, principalities in high places, and in your household, the father is the top. Yeah, and, 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 and it trickled down. Again, if you want to destroy a family, have a wicked man in the house or remove him to where that the, the authority that was put in the father the authority that was put into the husband, the authority that was put into the man is absent. That rod of reproof. A lot of young males uh, rebel against their mamas because that's out of order per se. The, the mother is more of a nurturer by nature. And the father represents the authority. And when the authority is removed, then the, the son is raised rebellious. Yeah, you, you, you need that masculine uh, 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 position in, in order to cause him to humble himself because that flesh is a rascal. And, and, and the rod of correction drives that mess out of the child. Yeah, that authority figure. Now, now I don't mean moms, mothers haven't done a good job and they're doing the best they can. I'm saying the natural order of the most high. If you want to uh, uh, destroy a people, you take the man out the house. And that's exactly what this system did, especially to the Hebrew families. It was designed to take the, the father out of the house. Plan B is more of pollute the father. If he do just so happen to be blessed enough to stay in the house, then we're going to pollute him and turn him into something that the Most High can't recognize. But the 16th verse is talking about when the wicked are multiplied, right? Because wickedness comes from the top down. Governmental structures on down. Somebody had enough power to 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 pull in the whole w world, way bigger than somebody's president, pull in the whole world, and put them under their rule. Yeah, and when, and, and, and when the wicked are multi when the wicked are multiply, they use their media platforms to perpetrate wickedness. Lasciviousness, uh, uh, perversion, sex. Yeah. They're using their platforms and influence to influence people to be wicked. Yeah. And then wicked people raise wicked little people. So when the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase. But the righteous shall be their fall. But the, but the children of the most high will be the fall of the wicked. Did you get that? Did you get the responsibility? Did you know that the world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons and the daughters of the most high to stand with him in these dark times? Not to shy away. Not to run, tuck, tuck tail and run. Breathing carbon dioxide with you. 
We, we got to stand with our mouth free to speak truth, to stand with boldness, proclaiming life. See, Isaac knew the power of death and life is in the tongue, and he spoke life unto his son. Called him a king and a ruler. He decreed that those that, that, that blessed him would be blessed and those that cursed him would be cursed. He gave him authority in the most high. He knew the importance. We need to know that what's going on now is going to be destroyed. And this is a prophecy right here to let you know who's going to destroy it. It's going to be the righteous. And our righteousness, we're not using our righteousness. Our righteousness is as filthy rag. We're getting our righteousness from the most high. We've been baptized into the body of the most high in his days of the flesh. Yahushua, Yah is salvation. We're baptized into his body. He's the righteous. And he shall be their fall. And we're acting in his stead. Under the influence of his spirit, he baptized his spirit inside of us. We have this treasure in earthen vessels, and we have the power to speak life. We can take authority. Yeah, we can take authority. We can, we can speak life into our children that's acting a fool. But we can't be a fool. You can't rebuke a fool, and you're a fool. We got to repent. And submit to the authority of the creator. Which then gives us the power. To speak his word. On his behalf. We have this treasure in earthly vessels. 16 verse y'all. When the wicked are multiplied. Transgressions increase. But look at this. But the righteous shall be their fall. Whose fall? The wicked fall. This hostile takeover is appointed for a season, y'all. It's appointed for a season. It can even be delayed if the, if, if the people of the Most High come together. It's Yah's will that these things come to pass. Yeah, they're trying to get you to get this mark, right? He said, but 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 he going to mark his children in their forehead. He, he, he's marking his children with the knowledge of his word right now. With the power of the Ruah, the power of his spirit right now. And they'll be able to stand against the wiles of the devil while they doing their thing. The most high is definitely doing his. And greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. We're being marked for this last day lane. We ain't bowing down. We ain't taking no more. And they can't do nothing about it until the most high say they can. Oh, yeah. He, the most high is the one in control. And when the smoke clear, they're going to fall. They're not going to bring their wicked devices to pass. They're going to end in ruin. And it's going to be by the righteous. 17 verse. So look what it said. It said, correct thy son. Because some folks belong to the most high. They're just not living it yet. You got to speak life into them. Correct thy son. Correcting them is speaking life into them. Sometimes it comes with the rod and correction. But it's letting you know that, 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 that if you correct them, you'll give them wisdom. Sometimes you got to whoop their tail. Sometimes you got to put them out. Yeah. If it get too crazy, you got to put them out. And you got to stand firm on truth. 17 verse say, correct thy son and he shall give thee rest. You'll get a relief when you correct them. And when they end up with the wisdom that you wanted them to have in the first place. You speak life into them. You live the example of life in them and you speak life into them. Raise them up in the way they should go. When they're old, they won't, they won't depart. But you got you to gotta first have it in you to give it to them. And then when you give it to them, come on, correct them and they shall give you rest. Yay. He shall give delight unto your soul. Watch for the finished product. After you have done the will of the Most High, you have need of patience that you might receive the promise. It don't happen immediately. 
You plan it. Then the Most High will send someone else to water. But it's going to be the Most High to get an increase. You set the correction in order. Correct thyself. You started. You're speaking life. Your son is in trouble. Your daughter's in trouble. Your children is trouble. But you're speaking life. And you're standing in life. You're standing on the word of life. You're the example that they can see. And you won't budge. No, you can't come up in here and sleep with people in my house. If you let them do that, then you the problem. No, I ain't getting high with you. Truth be told, if you where you're supposed to be, you ain't getting high at all. It ain't about uh, smoking crack with you. I ain't smoking crack, period. I ain't cussing with you. I ain't listening to that cussing music with you. And I'm not rapping the record with you either. We got to position ourselves to correct thy son. And he shall give thee rest. Yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. Look what it says, 18 verse. Where there is no vision, the people perish. In other words, don't let the devil knock the vision out of you. The, the word of the, of the most high, his word, you should have hid in your heart that you might not sin against him. You, me. So that we can pass the vision of having a relationship with the creator to our children. If I don't have it, I can't pass it. Which makes me wicked. And when, and when the wicked is multiplied, I can't do nothing but raise wicked children. If they up under my tutelage. If they listen to me. When the wicked are multiplied, 16 first. When the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase. Then the righteous is going to have to get me. Go, go knock my kingdom down. If I'm wicked. But if I repent. That's why the 18th verse said, where there's no vision. There's no spirituality. There's no connection with the most high. The people perish. See, Isaac had a vision for his sons. And he spoke it into them. And that's exactly what we need to be doing. And us, if you know our true role, Israel is supposed to be the head and not the tail. We're supposed to be the influencer and not the influence. We're supposed to come out from among them and be separate. We're, we're not dictated to by this wicked world. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to convince me that all of a sudden everybody's sick out of nowhere. Just, just sick. Just, everybody's sick all of a sudden. Everybody's sick all of a sudden. The whole world is sick, excluding our children. We just all sick for no doggone reason. Just sick. And people is crazy enough to believe that. Because when you're wicked, it's for you. Folks even get mad when I say that. You need to be mad because you're silly. <laughs> you sick. Oh, you asymptomatic. You sick? How you get sick? Oh, you don't believe the doctors? I'd rather believe. Go, go ahead. Go, go mass up. Do you. Where there's no vision, though. Listen, where there's no vision, you ain't got no vision coming from the most high, the people perish. When you, when you don't love truth, you will be susceptible to the lie. Yeah, you quick to give six feet. I know you ain't going to fellowship. It ain't going to be no two or three gathered together where you at, huh? You holler for six feet. <laughs> where there's no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, what law? The law of the most high. Happy is he. I'm not under the influence of a devil, nor his children. No, I'm just not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> scratch a lie, find a thief. They steal it, too. They a liar, and they, st they stole your freedom. <laughs> scratch a lie, find a thief. For the love of money, for the love of power, for the love of money. Whew. Where there's no vision. You got to start taking authority for your family. 
you you should have a vision for your family. You'd have you should have a vision that came from Yah for yourself. Because you were caught with, with purpose. You got purpose. He put purpose on you. You have gifts and you have a sphere. You have a, a surrounding. You have a, a, a group of people that you reach. That's your sphere. Right? They're in your atmosphere. Your fear, right? And you're supposed to affect them. Being connected to the Most High. You're supposed to affect your sphere. Right? You're supposed to affect them with the vision. You should know the Most High in the vision. You should know what's going on in these last and evil days. And you should be standing with truth. You shouldn't be going with the wide road. Wide is the road to lead to destruction. And many there be to go in there at. You ain't on that road. You're saving yourself from this untoward generation. Which direction is this generation going in? You're going in the opposite direction. And you're calling out for those that wake up. Will turn around and look to the Messiah. Looking on to the Mashiach. Who's the author and finisher of our faith. We have a vision. We have a vision for ourselves. And we have a vision for those around us. And the vision came from the Most High. But where there's no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law of the Most High, that's the vision. To be reconnected with the Creator. What's going on now is a process of separating the sheep from the goats. He's collecting his children in these last and evil days. He's collecting his children. He's pulling them out from amongst these wicked folk. Because amongst the wicked people, transgressions is increasing. Folks is lawless. Folks is horny. Messing with these devils, get some money. They'll, 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 they'll take a decent wife and turn her into a whore. They'll, they'll, they'll take a believer and take all her clothes off. There's folks, before these wicked people got their hands on them, they were serving the most high. They covered up and they was decent. And they spoke on it. Now they bent over what they crack up in there. Because he, because you got to bow down to Satan. To make it in this world now. We're not trying to strive to be rich. We're striving to be like the most high. We're saving ourselves from this untoward generation. We don't entangle ourselves with the affairs of this life that we might be able to please him that has called us, chosen us to be a soldier. And he, he's a provider. He'll give you what you don't get it twisted. He'll he, he take care of his. Do not get it twisted. Because we first seeking the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness, knowing that all this other stuff would be added. Come on, somebody. Where, 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 where there's no vision. Where, where there's no vision, the people perish. How many of y'all depending on the most high? Good to see you on Dave Green. How many of y'all depending on the most high? <clears throat> How many of y'all depending on the most high? Only. Him only. Because that's exactly who you need only is the most high. And the, and the way we headed right now, you're going to need him. <clears throat> For bare necessities, you're going to need him. Because the devil and his children is on one. And, 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 and the devil and his children, remember, he's the power. He, he, he's the power. He's the, he's the power. He's the prince of the power of the air. He's the prince. He's the prince of the power of the air, the airway. He's controlling people's thoughts. He's bombarding them with his propaganda. And since they don't have Yah like they should, the most high like they should, they're under the influence. Even church folks. Whole lot of church folks is gone. Whole lot of church folks hate the truth. Like what I'm saying right now, whole lot of church folks get mad. Because they're religious. They don't have a true relationship. They're religious. They got a form of Yah that's denying the power thereof. They can't see the truth. They run around here scared too. <laughs> they run around here trying to find a vaccine line. <laughs> That ain't funny. That's 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 like a disgust laugh that I got. How you laugh something off? It ain't funny. Where there's no vision, I'm out of here, y'all.
Where there's no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law of Yah, come on, somebody. <clears throat> Happier ye. Keep his word. Come from out of that delusion. Straight delusion. Quit going with the devil out of fear and wake the heck up. <laughs> Talking about be safe. Boy, ain't that funny. We 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 just is safe. We in more danger now, but it, but 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 with the lie they tell it ain't what's what what, what we need to be safe from. <laughs> Forget they lie. Look, look, the lie is what you need to be safe from. Because the reality is, man, trust y'all and gonna have a nice day. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for another opportunity coming for you. Humble as we know how. Uh, thank you for the revelation that we have life baptized into us and we can speak life. And the power of the prince of the air has no effect on us. Um, you came in your name. You, you came in your father's name and we received you. So if another come his own name, we ain't receiving him, nor I'm nothing you talking about. We thank you for the victory to walk in the victory in these last and evil days. I rebuke the spirit of deception right now off uh, the most high's children and that we walk in, in, in the power of truth and that we fellowship. And that we come together in the Most High's name, proclaiming his name and his fame in his last and evil days. You're released to go <clears throat> out to the highways and hedges to compel folks to come in and gather with them for the growth until he come get us. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. We got authority, y'all, <clears throat> to speak life again into our families, into our spouses, into our children. And into one another. And we, we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. And come together and speak life into one another. And we should fellowship. And when and if we, we got off to a sinful start. And our children is on the wrong road. We have permission moving forward to speak life into them. Even while they're acting the fool. Because remember the most high called light out of darkness. It was dark when he said let there be light. And that's exactly what we should be doing to our families. Speaking life into them and believing the most high for their deliverance. Is that all right? For their deliverance and their healing. And we ain't going to stop until the most high moves. Is that all right? All right, y'all. I pray you were blessed by the lesson. If you were, feel free to push the share button and the like button. Hallelujah. So somebody else can be blessed as well. If you are a supporter of this ministry, <clears throat> I am definitely humbled. And I say thank you. I'm humbled and I say thank you. Um, and if you are being blessed by this ministry and would like to support this ministry, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash app, all you got to do is put in dollar sign uh, Yahuda Israel. That's dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. I just want to say this, right? I, I, I was listening to some young woman prophesying. and <clears throat> She started bragging that um, she don't do cash app or she don't ask people for money and all that. And all that, right? The word Saul Paul taught on it real good in 1 Corinthians 9, 2 Corinthians 9. He got it from Torah when the Most High in Moses' law uh, uh, instructed Moses, you know, to to say, don't muzzle out the mouth to trade it out the corn, right? Don't muzzle out the ox. Because they would put a, a, a muzzle on the ox while he trading out the corn to feed them. And they didn't want him to eat, right? And then, so Paul asked the question, do Yah cure for oxen or did he say that for people? And of course it was for people, for us, right? So when folks mean well but don't know the word, it's kind of like weird. You don't want to speak to people's flesh. We want to we wanna walk in the spirit. We want a relation with the most high. And there's a blessing in giving and supporting ministry. And she's bragging on the fact that she's not opening the door that the most high opened. Which position people like they're better or they're, that ministry is better because they don't allow people to give. That don't even make no sense. But anyway, I just thought I'd address that. Whatever you do, you should support ministry that supports you spiritually. That's just the bottom line, right? But you don't have to. If the Most High leads you to and you have that revelation, then do so. And if not, don't. Continue to chime in, continue to grow, and continue to learn. 
but I had to debunk that religious pat on the back to the flesh type talk. It's stupid. We're about to get on the line, y'all, <clears throat> and pray and discuss the lesson. That's what we do. If you want to join us, all you got to do is dial 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Again, 302 202 1102, extension 815648. And again, for the Facebook crowd, good to see you on James Harris. But to the Facebook crowd, listen, school is back in. And so, um, at least by Friday, I'll probably give you one more day, or, okay, starting tomorrow, really. School is back in, you know, for what that, for that, yeah, school is back in. And so we're going to switch our chop time from 8 a.m. back to 6 a.m. We should do 6 a.m. for those that are working and have children in school and all that. And I know times are real weird right now, but school is back in. So we're going back to 6 a.m. starting tomorrow. All right, y'all spread the word. I'll put it out there as well, okay? Y'all continue to pray for us, and we pray for you. Y'all be baruch. Rock the shalom. I'm gone.